All right, in this video, I'm going to do an example of graphing, in this case, 2 cosine of the quantity x minus pi over 2 plus 1. And we'll talk about, you know, we'll, 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 we'll think about, you know, all of these things, the amplitude, the period, the phase shift, and the vertical shift to help us graph. So, you know, kind of the first thing I think about is, you know, what's the graph of just cosine x? And again, you know, this is going to be a pretty rough sketch here. Uh, pi over 2, pi, uh, 3 pi over 2 and 2 pi. Well, so I'm going to graph y equals cosine x first. So cosine of 0 is 1. Um, cosine of pi over 2 is 0. Cosine of pi is negative 1. And then at 3 pi over 2, we're back at 0. And at 2 pi, we're back at positive 1. We can even put a uh, a 0 over here at negative pi over 2. Okay, so there's the graph of cosine x. So the first thing I'm going to think about is this, um, this phase shift. And since we see negative pi over 2, again, this means we're going to shift the graph of cosine to the right uh, by pi over 2 units. Um, I'm going to do another thing at the same time as well. And all the 2 is going to do is just going to change the amplitude. So instead of going up to positive 1 and negative 1, we'll now go uh, up to positive 2 and to negative 2. So let's see, let's try to shift everything. So there's positive 2, there's negative 2, pi over 2, pi, 3 pi over 2, and then 2 pi. Okay, uh, at 0, we were originally at 1. So if we shift that over pi over 2 units, again, then we would have been at pi over 2 comma 1. But again, because of this amplitude, it'll now be up here at uh, pi over 2 comma 2. The original point uh, that was at pi over 2, 0, if that gets shifted over pi over 2 units, we would now be sitting at pi. So we'll still be getting 0 out there. At 3 pi over 2, let's see, so if we take... Uh, um, the value that was at pi, we had positive 1, or excuse me, negative 1. At pi, we had negative 1. Uh, so when we change the amplitude, that'll go from pi down to negative 2. But again, we're just moving that point over pi over 2 units. So at 3 pi over 2, we'll be down here at negative 2. And then we'll be back at 0, um, etc. All right, so I think we've got our kind of rough graph here. Let's see, so at negative pi over 2, we would be down here at negative 2. So now we've got a rough graph of 2 cosine of x minus pi over 2. And last but not least, all we have to do, um, remember this plus 1 is going to be a, a vertical shift. And the plus 1 is just going to shift the graph. It'll shift the graph simply up one unit. So grab another piece of paper here. So now I'm just going to simply uh, take this original graph that we came up with and shift it up just one unit. Okay, so instead of being at 0, uh, 0, we'll now be at 0, comma, 1. Instead of being at pi over 2, comma, 2, we'll now be up here at pi over 2, comma, 3. And again, instead of being at pi 0, we'll now be at pi, comma, 1. At 3 pi over 2, instead of being at the y value of negative 2, we'll now be at the y value of negative 1. And then when we're back at 2 pi, again, instead of being at 0, since we've added 1, we'll now be 1 unit higher. So now we've got that same graph that we had before. It's just that things have been shifted um, up 1 unit. So. That's pretty much all there is to it. Um, you know, this is kind of how, you know, if somebody told me to graph this original thing, this would exactly, you know, this is exactly my thought process. I kind of do it just a little step at a time, and I kind of make them stop here. Again, they, they definitely keep going. Um, but this is how I do it. I kind of shift it to the right, pi over 2 units. I think about this, this amplitude, how it's kind of stretching the graph out. And then I just take that whole thing and move it up one unit because of the plus 1.